Hello everybody, Princess and the Bear here, and today we're doing another non-Disney adventure. In St. Augustine. In St. Augustine. Where are we going to St. Augustine today? Well, you know about the Grand Floridian at Disney. Now we're going to just the Floridian. Plain old Floridian. Plain old for Floridian. Because apparently they have a lot of vegan options here. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. Maybe I'll get some gator. I don't know. Get that gator on the menu. I'm in for a treat. Mmm. So, we'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Garden Gimlet with vodka. It smells like a cucumber. It tastes very um naturey. Like it's got it doesn't taste like cucumber water. It doesn't taste like anything that it smells like. It just tastes um odd. Like a grapefruit. Odd. But not grapefruit. Like cucumber grapefruit. No. I remember it. I feel like I just took a walk outside in a garden. It's like pond water. Mm, interesting. It's very flory. So fresh. Mm. It's good though. I like it. Four to five plus. Swamp water. Swamp pony. Swamp pony? It tastes like a mojito, but a better, more flavorful mojito. And then my uh, swamp pony, which looks like actual swamp water, like a bamboo straw. Mm. It's interesting. I wonder if we had something similar to this before at Disney. But it tastes like it looks, but not in a bad way. Three and a half out of five plus. So this is a black bean dip. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's really good. I'm gonna make their chips in house, so like. It's another type of hummus, but it's black bean. It's good. And then regular hummus. Also really good. Very flavorful for hummus. I like the black bean one more, though, I think. It's really delicious. I could probably inhale, like, a giant bowl of this. Mm. I like the little spread, you got cucumbers, tomatoes, and then all the dips. Carrots first. Mm. Black bean hummus is nice. It's nice and smooth. Got some texture to it. Nothing wrong with it, we just had a little, we just had a little bit of spice. But there might be, and I'm gonna be dead inside. I want this whole plate for like a movie night. This, true popcorn and the rest. I love this. Five out of five plus. All of it. Just need, not share. 
So I got the tempeh version of their tuna offering and it looks incredible. Underneath here is some veggies and a lovely sauce. So I'm gonna try to like do a little bit of this potato sauce and the tempeh. One beautiful bite. It smells tangy. Mm -hmm. It's like lukewarm, which is interesting. It's not like stupid flavorful, but it's also not like super bland. So it's pretty good. I don't know if I would order it again. It's not bad. I've definitely had better at Disney, but this is great for like San Augustine. Floridian. It's definitely better than Grand Florida Cafe, I'll tell you that. So this is the vegan version of the salmon dish when it's late at night and you order Chinese and you just want to eat Chinese just to mow it down because you're craving it. That's basically what this tastes like. Well, I give it on the bare scale three and a half out of five claws, slightly above average. It's with vegan food is that Sometimes you just get things that look pretty but don't taste so great. I'm hoping that this isn't one of those things because it looks amazing. The different mix of sauces and the veggies. These potatoes look amazing. The colors are great. It's garnished perfectly. I actually like the sauce. The textures are a bit weird. Going from the marinated tofu to the, the sort of dense. Well, Tempeh, it's not token. Oh, explain it. Going from the, the tempeh to the zucchini in here and then the potatoes, the textures are a bit weird as far as the gradient. So if you have issues with textures, you might not like it. But the sauce, I love. Three and a half out of five plots. I probably wouldn't order it again, but if the prince ordered it, I'd definitely eat half of it. So I got this shrimp tostada, which I don't know about you guys, but I never know what to do with the tostada when I get it. How to eat it, what to do with it. It basically looks like a pizza you can't break up. It's huge. I'm not expecting it to be this big. But I'm just gonna bear it. Ha! Ah, get it? Messy is an understatement. I think that's something on my nose. But it's crunchy, it's a little bit oily, the shrimp are perfect. Uh, the, the feta cheese, the peppers are great. It's very interesting. I think I waited, but probably as an app, I probably liked it better, but it's a lot. Like, this literally could be a whole meal in itself, and you like walk away for a light lunch. Two and a half out of five o'clock, it's okay, but I probably wouldn't order it again. I know I'm better. I got a fried chicken sandwich with hot honey. Thinking it was going to be small. It was relatively inexpensive compared to Disney prices. It is not small. There we go. Kind of a break to it. It's got a lot of layers. Veggies and slaw and chicken. Mm. The slaw on top of the chicken is a nice, like, it helps chicken from feeling so dense with the bite. It's like a flavor explosion you bite into on top of the slaw. And the, the slaw kind of helps with the heat because this is a slight bit spicy. But the slaw sort of immediately cools it down. Um, the bread is fresh made, powdery. I like. I think this will go on my list of things that are better than a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Three and a half out of five plus. Okay, so is it better than homecoming? Mmm. Yes. Then I'm trying to overdress it. That is pretty dang good. This is a solid four out of five plus. Better than homecoming. So my other rates to a four out of five plus. 
the night of the vampire. What if what a vampire would drink if he was on a Florida vacation? Oh, I like this a lot. This is like a a flavor, like a better version of a white claw, like super flavored and really good. Yeah. I love mint here. Looks pretty nice. If you put Twilight, the movie, in a blender with ice, you'd probably come over this. It's light. I'm in love with it. Two and a half out of five plus. Hello, everybody. This is the Vera here, and we just finished at. Floridian Cafe. The Floridian. I want to keep saying Grand Floridian, but you the know. Rest, the restaurant of my people. It's funny because the Grand Floridian is like super fancy and the Floridian is like super, super chill, chill, super, super laid back. Very front relax. Super front porch style. Yeah. You're in our house. Here's You're a plate. In their house, what do you need? Sure. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Food was amazing. Food was amazing. I liked it. It was a. I like to come here and try other things. I think I'm done yet. I would agree. I, there are quite a few things I would like to try, and they change like some of their food offerings daily, so it makes me want to come like every day and try something mm. new. Their salad menu looked pretty good. I'm I'm pretty picky about my salads, and I would eat probably two or three of those. There's like a couple of their bowls, like they had vegan bowls, and then yeah. there's like a Cuban that I still need to try. But uh, I was amazing. The service was, it was, it was not miss, very but, good. But, but overall. It was nice because it didn't rush us. She definitely like no, gave us our time to our time. have our drinks and have our appetizer. That was good. Which is rare here in this state. It so. was. I still feel like this, compared to Disney, it was not good. But like average for Florida, I would say it was about average. Coming from the princess, that's a compliment. But uh, I'm very I critical about my customer service. I would definitely come here service. again. Overall, I think it was a good place to eat. Agreed. A nice vegan option to the princess. Something that I like and would eat. So. We'll definitely be back. Yes, I want to try their veggie burger because it's house made. Their chips were house made too. Mm. So, if there's any other places you want to try around San Augustine or Florida, period, or well, anywhere in the U.S., let us know in the comments. You know how to do that. Hit the notification bell to make sure you get notified of our next video. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.